is good everybody welcome back to another my am toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new epic very epic i think i think it's insane but we have some brand new aew in action figure playset news as we get into it here today man i'm just going to dive right into it we have our next addition to the aew ringside exclusive blood and guts sort of pack deal you guys know that they love to give it to us right they they, they typically give it to us in what a two pack and then we get a singular and then we get another two pack is that how this is going to continue i do not know but as you guys can see here we have the Blood and Guts Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch 2-Pack with John Moxley and Kenny Omega 17-piece ringside exclusive set. This looks incredible, man. I am so happy for this set. I think, you know, we saw the render images, right? We saw the render images. We got to see what the figures were kind of going to, you know, kind of look like. We kind of knew what we were going to be getting here, but seeing it in full plastic form here, my buddy Matt did a fantastic job on these photos. He really brought them to life, and he made, he sold the figures, man. He really sold the figures, and like how people need to buy this set, he has totally captured it here in the lens of his camera because it looks insane. But let's go ahead and break down everything that you're gonna get here and just talk about the what what my thoughts are what maybe your guys thoughts are and i'll run it back and tell you guys some maybe some fix-ups you can do with these figures if you want to get some i can already tell you right now i will be getting three of these at least one to keep on nice, one to open and review, and one for fix-ups and customs. So we're going to definitely get into that, but let's go ahead and dive in, man. Starting out with the John Moxley figure. Now, the John Moxley figure, I think, I think he's better than the Kenny Omega. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but I think that's where my head is at right now. As you guys can see, it looks like they have given him the Mox Series 5, the AEW Unrivaled Series 5 Chase Mox without the eye patch sculpt. So we get a brand new head sculpt right here with the yelling head. It looks like Moxley to me. I like the blood going on with it. I like the hair sculpt. I like the expression going on. I really love this head. I, I hope to see this head on another Mox. Really wish we would have gotten this on the Series 8 maybe or, you know, something like that. But maybe that'll come down the line with Mox. But I really like the Mox. The gray on the pants looks sick. I love how it's like that matte gray look. I want to say his pants were kind of like black wash, but I, I mean, it's not the biggest deal, right? I mean, it, it still looks pretty sweet. I love the gray and the matte gray, the way it looks. I like the, the way the belt looks and all the sculpt here. It looks like it's the same sculpt as the Series 8 mocks, the AEW Unrivaled Series 8 mocks, but I can't tell. I still can't tell. At least I, I haven't done enough digging to see if this is the same sculpt as the Series 5 or the Series 2 mocks. But I still think that this looks sick, man. I love the mock shirt with the skull. I thought that shirt was sick AF when he first wore it. They're still kind of going with these, like, black graphic backgrounds on their graphics. And it's kind of throwing me off. Because it's like, you know, it, it just gives it that square look. It doesn't look like the design is printed on the shirt. It looks like they're sticking a sticker on the shirt, which I really don't really like. However, it, it is what it is, I guess. You know, I just think that that's something that they could improve on. If they look to improve something, that's something they could do. I do like that it is a cloth shirt. I will always love that. We have some blood marked up on his body. I just hope that the joints on this Mox are better than his other joints. And it also looks like his skin tone may be a little bit different, a little bit better, honestly, than a Series 5 figure. His Series 2 was, was phenomenal. I think the Series 2 was like them experimenting with skin tones. So I think actually that this skin tone may be a bit better than the Series 5, but the Series 2 probably is still better than this one. Because you guys know, like, Series 5 is, like, more gray. This looks more realistic. This looks like a nicer tone of skin. I, I like this a lot. I think this looks a lot more natural. It doesn't look so weird and stuff, so we'll just have to check into that. But I do like the gray pants. I like the black boots and everything. This is a sick-ass Mox figure. Let's get into Kenny Omega, though. As we dive into Kenny Omega, I think, again, very sick figure. I love that we're getting the exclusive shirt, you know, the Deathmatch shirt. With the, with the graphic on there, AEW Championship, of course. You get the shooter hand, you get all the things, and they are taped up like they were in the match. Also, we get this wicked, like, grunting, you know, sort of, uh, I don't even know what you would call that, menacing, sort of, you know, pissed off Kenny Omega head where he's, like, grinning. He's got the blood-soaked hair, blood-soaked face. Hair looks a bit thick, but his hair is thick. So, I mean, it is what it is. I like the head sculpt. I don't, like, hate it. It's not my favorite head sculpt, but I don't hate it. I still like it. It is a newer one. Maybe we'll get this unbloody, you know, maybe they'll use this face sculpt without the blood on it on a future Kenny Omega. If I had to guess, that will probably be the case. You got these long pants going on. I love the top of the pants sculpt, like the thighs area, but the bottom of the pants look a bit off to me. They just look too smooth or something compared to the upper part of the pants. It looks like they probably used like what Santana upper thighs and then they gave us a new lower leg sculpt so it doesn't look like it quite meshes together there 
I don't know, that may be how it looked, but that's just what my first impressions are. I like the blood all over the body. I love that they put blood on the shirt. I think that's sweet. I think it'd be cool to see this shirt without blood on it as well down the line, but I still like this a lot. I think the head sculpt looks great. I like the whole body that we're getting here and the navy pants. He did wear his knee pads over his jeans like that, so that is accurate. Hopefully these feet and stuff aren't hard to stand like the Young Bucks. We'll have to find out. But I like this figure a whole lot. I think Kenny and Mox look sick. I think the figures themselves, without all the accessories, would be worth the get if you were going to grab this set. But you also are going to get some barbed wire accessories. We do have a look at the accessories over here. You get the AEW Championship. You get a barbed wire chair. You get a barbed wire bat. And you also get two tables with barbed wire, loose barbed wire. Now, I don't know if the chair comes with barbed wire wrapped around it and you get the two loose barbed wire strands with the two tables. I want to say that's the case. Maybe I can investigate the packaging right here. Okay, so it, it looks to me like you get the AEW Championship, all the weapon accessories, and you get the loose webbing for the tables or whatever you want to use it for. Now, if you take that and you combine it with the AEW accessory playsets we've seen with Jazzwares before, and you know, you got the barrel one and you got the, the the first one that we got with the little platform and the barbed wire. You can create some really wicked matches, man. So I'm very excited for what we got going on. It's got like the revolution packaging with the ring going around and the different windows. Oh my, just what a sick set, man. This may be the best box set we've seen so far from AEW. At, like at least to my knowledge when I think off the top of my head for the two packs that we've gotten I like this one better than the Blood Brothers I like this one better than the two packs for the Amazon exclusives I like this two pack a lot I think it's a really sweet one I, I love it I think it's fantastic it looks great in packaging it looks good loose it's going to be a fantastic set on the back there you guys can see the different imagery of the packaging you got all the different details about it, it says John Moxley Kenny Omega uh, even though the end of this matchup was a dud, you know, very memorable for how duddy it was at the end. Still a great match overall, and still uh, a, a banger figure set. So, you know, at least we got a banger figure set out of everything going on. But Matt absolutely killed these photos. I think he did a fantastic job bringing them to life. I just hope that the joints and stuff on these figures are as good, or they are a lot better than what we perceived in the past for these figures. So we'll have to see about that, but I would love to know. I'm, I'm probably going to shoot Matt a message right now on the Moxley and the Kenny Omega because that's something that I'm very interested in. I'd love to see, you know, exactly how it poses around, you know, is anything different because it is slightly different skin tone, you know, that doesn't mean anything, but hopefully that will be a thing. Also, if we get this Kenny Omega in, can we remove the knee pad? I know we can remove the knee pads. I'm just saying, you know, we could, can we remove the knee pads, replace the torso and arms and stuff and kind of create our own little vision there for what we can get, you know, like mix and match and parts and all those different things. So that'll be really fun to see as well. See if we can create some customs and some fix-ups and stuff. That's just one thing that I've been lacking on in the AEW Unrivaled figure market is that every single figure that I buy extra of the AEW figures, I just keep mock, which is the opposite of what I do with the WWE Elites. So anytime I buy an extra figure, I keep it on ice and I don't open it. So I really only have like one to two maybe on certain figures, certain guys, but I mainly only have like one of every AEW figure so far. So unless you're counting the mock, like loose, I only have one of each pretty much outside of a couple that I absolutely love. So that's the way it's going right now. Maybe that'll change. I've told myself that I probably... Anytime I see an AEW figure at retail, unless it's just one that is a very bad shelf warmer, I may start just buying one, you know, just to have for future customs and fix-ups, you know. You know, you run in there, you find a random Pinto. You just grab the Pinto. Even if you have two or three, you just grab it. That way you'll have it for a fix-up or a custom, you know. Same thing for Cody, Kenny, etc. I'm kind of on this thing with Kenny Omega where if I find any Kenny Omega at retail, I go ahead and grab it. I've kind of been on that train. That's why I have so many. But, um, you know, he's one of my favorites, and I wanted to, you know, build up that collection there. So that's one of those things. But as far as other guys, like different parts and selections, like if you could find this in the wild, you're not going to find this set in the wild. It is ringside exclusive, so use code MDTOYS when it comes in stock or if you want to pre-order it i don't think the pre-orders are up just yet but keep that in mind it is a ringside exclusive but when you're talking about you know grabbing different guys for parts i think that the bucks are great for parts anybody that has some unique molds those are the guys you really want to grab for for different fix-ups you know interchanging swapping and popping and everything like that you could really kit bash these aew figures so that's something that we need to start doing for surgery and things of that nature but thank you guys so very much for watching that is going to wrap it up let me know what you guys think about this exploding death match barbed wire matchup playset. I think it's insane. I love it. I think it looks great. I love all the different details we're getting, all the call it the goods and accessories and stuff. I think the head sculpts look phenomenal. Definitely going to have to grab me a few of these sets. It will be very fun. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below on the set and everything. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't cross the line like, I don't know, me when I 
keep buying all these damn figures. You cross 